Hello, welcome to uh, Telephone Tuesdays. I'm uh, for this video. I'm out in the field, almost actually, almost literally, um, because I wanted to show you a little nondescript building out in the countryside uh, that you'd pass by and never think twice about. But actually, it's very, very relevant to uh, the telephone exchange videos that we do because this is a uh, UAX, a unit automatic exchange building that would have housed the type of big, well, actually kind of small uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, but big for the size of uh, stuff that's in the museum, uh, UAX 13 uh, telephone exchange that we have. This building right here, very nondescript, right? But you can still see it's got a British Telecoms uh, plaque on it, and uh, I'll show you the length of it. it. Goes on down that long. So you'd pass by this, and you'd not think twice. But inside here would be all of the switching apparatus, uh, enough to supply really like a you know a, a village. Um, if you think each of those racks on our UAX 13 exchange uh, can uh, accommodate about 50 subscribers and the way that the uh, unit automatic exchange uh, uh, apparatus is designed is designed to be expandable so actually our racks as they currently are um, can't provide uh, 50 subscribers because there's not enough, um, uh, what are they called? The little counters uh, there, the meters. Um, you'll notice there's empty spaces for meters so it can be expanded. Um, and you can also add whole other racks. And I believe, I believe if I'm remembering rightly from uh, Telephony Volume 2, um, they would normally expand them to a maximum of 800 subscribers, I think. That's the absolute tip top. And then they'd have to start thinking about, you know, having installing another type of exchange if the, if the uh, settlement expanded beyond that size. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, these buildings. This is right by the side of the old um, RAF Manston airfield. Um, this is in uh, Kent. Uh, the museum's in Ramsgate, so we're just down the road. And... Um, uh, this is this is one of the old airfields that the um, you know fighter interceptors and stuff used to uh, land and refuel at after the dogfights over the skies of Kent. So this is it. You can't really see inside, unfortunately. The uh, you know, the windows are like this. There is a light on. They do still use these buildings for something mysterious. Maybe we'll get a chance to see inside it at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, that that is where. Our exchange used to be in buildings just like this. Pretty cool, mate. And so keep your eyes peeled uh, in the, when you're driving through the countryside. So you never know, there may be a telephone exchange still inside one of these buildings, undisturbed. Maybe, maybe. So if you enjoyed that, there's loads of videos about all this stuff already on the channel. And we're going to be doing loads more varied videos about all of the cool stuff in the museum there is a lot of stuff like this this is a wire recorder this is a magnetic disc recorder huh and if you come over here look loads of synthesizers over here there's a 35 millimeter editing table you haven't seen that yet have you oh there's a little sneak peek right there and if you want to see it in future and all this cool stuff then well you need to you need to be subscribed to the channel don't you and if you want to drop a like and stuff that does really help believe me it really really helps um and uh We've also got on the website some sample packs you can download of all the sounds of all the cool stuff. Sounds of the telephone exchange that you could maybe even make into your ringtone if you're a cool cat. <laughs> and uh, so I hope that uh, you can come and visit us here at the museum. But uh, if you can't, then uh, I will still see you next Tuesday.